Break it down. Oh. Break it down. Yeah. Break it down. Come on, come on with me. That's it. Oh, we're so out of, out of beat. Party yeah, over here. Party over there. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Oh, yeah. it's got the dogs going. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. This isn't a real party. It's a pretend party. It's not a dancing dog party. Sit the shit down. Yeah, sit your shit. Don't do a shit. Just sit down. This is a podcast okay. party and you're welcome. Yeah, you're not, you're not invited. Oh, You're like invited though. Grime on oh, that. what is that? Crumbs a bit. Oh, looks like sure white that. cum. Have you got white <sighs> cum on your armpit? <laughs> white cum, as opposed to what coloured cum? Yellow. Ew. What sort exactly. of people that's, have you that's been infected? With? Well, I am a doctor, so <laughs> you see a lot, don't you, girlfriend? You see a lot. You see a lot of jizz. Yeah. Look, anyway, into it. Um, I'm Welcome. Evie Jones. I'm on Wurundjeri Country. Where are you today? I'm still in Gadigal Land and I'm still Angie Kent. Oh, I feel like I've been here for four million years and I think that when, I have been. When are you leaving? I mean, I will you're, be leaving. you're welcome to stay as long as you want, but I would just wanted to know, when are you leaving? I'm leaving next week from memory, next week. Are you excited about going home? I am. I'm excited and it's always I we've spoken about this before and we'll spoke we'll speak about it, we'll spock about it in our Christmas episode. Spock. But Christmas is always such a bit of like it's like a catch twenty two kind of vibe because it's like I'm so mm. excited, but there's always something that happens. So I'm excited to go home, but I'm also like my my subconscious is just like like getting ready to like full protection mode. Mm. So we'll that see. Is so interesting. I think, yeah, I mean, you know, you getting yourself ready already mm. is really awful because, you know, you're not in there yet and you're yeah. you're, you're preventing yourself from living in the moment because of you know what's coming. So Yeah, it's interesting. I'm I personally am not. It's my subconscious that'll do it at mm. night time in my dreams. Um God, I had the worst dream last night. That autumn was in a storm and I couldn't get to her. Did I tell you she hates storms? Hates mm. them. Goes hiding under things or sleeps on my head. Anyway, I won't. But subconscious are a funny thing. You yeah. can't escape them. You can't escape. That's the thing. And they're that's always the telling you something quite deep. Yeah. So Very that's where deep. I'm at. But I am excited. I'm excited to go home to see my house. Obviously, it's being mm. renovated whilst I've been gone. So that'll be a fun little update. And then I'll go straight to the Sunshine Coast where I'll spend Kitma. Um, and I'll be there for like a month. So A month. That's long. That is long. But I've got another place mm. to stay. So woo, Merry Christmas. Oh, that's good. That makes a big difference. me. So anyways. Oh, so you know how we did Kim Cattrall and Sarah Jessica Parker last week, the beef between? Yeah. Um, we got in it. We got a DM. You haven't seen the DM I yet, haven't have read you? It. No, I haven't okay. read it yet. It's really good. It's really good. Everyone also, by the way, is very team SJP by the mm. sound of things. The um, responses that we got were really, yeah, very similar to us kind of like, you know, you, no one ever really knows. But mm. we did get this one DM and it was from, I won't say who, but it was a man. Um, and he said, now, read the Kim Cattrall um I can give you first-hand information regarding this. Yeah. My husband was friends with the late Willie Parsamont Garson, who played Stanford. My Mm. husband was an exchange student in New Jersey and he was a classmate there and they stayed in touch. He and the entire cast really disliked her because she was a horrible person to everyone on set. I remember having lunch with him when we were visiting the States and he said, oh, sorry, and he was in the middle of filming the second film. He said, I can't wait for this film to be over so I won't have to see that bitch Kim again. Oh. Um, then he said, love you, love your show, love you gals, which thank you very much. We love you back. Okay, you so I originally are. thought that you were talking about SJP. So Kim, he was saying about Kim, Kim is a real bitch yeah. to work with. Okay, yeah. well, that's first-hand yeah, information. I mean, That is actual first-hand information. First-hand's more so. of you kind of are in it, I feel, and you see it yourself. So it's well, kind yeah, of still second-hand. It's second-hand. Hand. It's definitely second-hand. It's kind of third one. Okay, it's hand. kind of third-hand. <laughs> all right, look, it's a foot, all right? We're going all the way down to feet-hand. It's feet a little hands. bit. It's first feet. He said, she said business. It's, it's, but 
It's not something we've read in a, a media outlet or no. just heard through gossip. Like somebody's come to our DMs and yeah. knows of Stanford RIP. Um, mm. And Kim was a real bitch to Stanny. Yeah, and no one is a bitch to our Stanford. So. Oh, God, bless him. Bless him. Okay, well, bless there you go. Him. I like that. I love hearing yeah, that. I mean, I don't love hearing it, but I love a little bit of, in, yeah, bit of inside f- goss. Yeah, a little bit of confirmation that. Yeah. I mean, look, yeah. we still don't completely know, but thanks for letting us know that part of it. It'll do. Look, It'll we'll do. take it. We won't we certainly won't it. kick it out of bed for farting. No. Oh. At the end of the day. Certainly not. But let's also, side note, but also not a side note, full note, last week, huge, we had the podcast awards, the Australian Indeed. podcast awards, and we were nominated for Best Entertainment Pod. Cast. We didn't win, we were, but it doesn't matter. Okay. We were doesn't nominated, matter. which is it's pretty great nice. considering, like, I mean, we really could have probably promoted it a bit more, but we didn't, and it is oh, what it is, and there's always next it. year. <laughs> they promoted it. We promoted it. It's all we good. People, not as much as I know some people do, like they slide into people's messages and like, don't forget to vote for me. So I just didn't do that. So. Oh, right. Yeah, that's not really my thing. It's not my thing either. It's and not so my thing. I'm not, but we're not going to start own. doing something like that when it's just not our thing. It would feel a bit fake. Our friends would and followers would go, what? Really? Yeah, like, we're get those off people dick. now? Yeah. 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 We're not, anyway. We're not dick hoppers, are we, girl? No. Who um, did win our, our award? Oh, you look, nice. that is the face of fear and panic. Um, if I ever saw it. So, who won Best Entertainment was Did you throw eggs the at radio them when they notes. got up? <laughs> it's called the Radio Notes Podcast. They won. Couldn't tell you about oh. them, but I'm sure they're great, obviously, because they beat us. So, Oh, my God. I've got to tell you something about them then. Oh, you know them? This is all making sense now. I've tweeted. They tweeted me and said that they were great. You, our podcast was really good. Yeah. And then I followed them and said, you know, congratulations on your win and everything, not knowing that they beat us. Oh, they, <laughs> they wrote me too. I've just checked my request and they were like, I'm so sad I didn't meet you. I wanted to come and chat. They're the ones that beat us. Oh, oh. shout out to them. They're so sweet. They're very sweet. Oh, we need to listen yeah. to it. Something's well, we do. Well, they're award-winning podcast. I think that they deserve our listens. They so do. they're going to get mine. We do love to um, support other podcasts, obviously. We're not the only one. But one thing we did Ooh. notice and wanted to chat about was um, mm-hmm. how amazing it was that so many Indigenous and queer podcasts were winning, yes. which in – not too long ago, uh, such a space for, uh, like, mummies, queer people, Indigenous, there wasn't a lot. It, it's no. always been quite a, a man's based industry or just, like, mm. women crime. talking about news or crime even. Crime. Whereas now it's just, like, I noticed so many women up there uh, accepting awards, awards and wonderful. then the Indigenous people just, oh, their podcasts were just smashing. And this is what we love to see. And the queer, like, oh, it was just so good to see. Um, I noticed we- that last year as well, actually. I watched it live last year. This year it wasn't streamed, which ah. I was tray disappointed because I was waiting for the stream to come on, which was fine actually after that because I, you know what I'm like. It, I was so tired. I was falling asleep and then it didn't come. There was no stream. So I well, went to sleep. Look, I mean – being there itself wasn't but, overly thrilling, so watching it probably wouldn't have been that probably. fun either. Well, I, last year I it watched it good. and I watched all the people winning and there was a lot of Indigenous and I was so impressed. It's great. Like amongst the winners sort were the, the Last Outlaws, um, which is – that's the main one that won, right? Which was amazing. Mm-hmm. He was beautiful and it was also his um, birthday and he was just like – he won oh. twice actually. He won great. twice and he was great. So look up. Um, I definitely have on my list The Last Outlaws. And then another one, a podcast that won was Pop Gaze, a pop culture podcast for postmodern queers. We love that. Hi, I'm Eddie was another one that won. And I'm just – there's we've got, like, notes on what it's about, but I reckon if you're interested, they've obviously won. They're obviously good. Get in and listen to it yourselves. But congratulations <laughs> to all the winners. Yeah. It was a good yep. night. It was so nice to see, yeah, so many people just like so stoked. People freaking love podcasts. They just oh, love them. Don't they? They do. And there's so many. So even to be nominated for um, an award in mm. this industry is a really big thing because 
Every man and their dog has a podcast. Every man. Anyone and can their make a dog. podcast. So to actually get nominated, we are very, very grateful we are. to be acknowledged like that. Like it was a very, very great thing for us. So thank you to everyone. We thank everyone that listens to us everywhere. You know how much we love you. We love you so much. God, I'd I had your a- eyeballs if I could. I love you all that much. Ew. I had a, Ew. I was getting my eyebrows done the other day uh, and the, a girl, a lady, sorry, I should say. Oh, that's a good one. A woman? A lady or a woman, whatever she wants to be called. She might like lady. She might like woman. She might like person. Um, she might like person. She was like, oh, I listen to your podcast um, in the morning when I get ready. She's like, I love it. So I was like, that's so nice oh, that to is hear. so nice. Do you mm. know what? I've never told you. And I can't believe I've forgotten this. Or maybe I have and I've forgotten that I've told. You know what I'm like, Angela Bernice. You know how bad I am at my memory. So I may have told you this. I went out for lunch to the pub just up the road, the Wolf, with Sammy P. And he went up to order our drinks. And he said, there is um, a lady, a, a lady behind the bar and she's losing her shit over you and I went oh he said go up and say hi because she said that you girls um have really helped her and done all this stuff and blah blah. anyway I went up to her she came around the bar she was bawling her eyes out she said I don't think you realize how much you've helped me she says I was literally listening to you just now on my way to work she said I've just lost my mum and she said just the both of you just are everything. You're just everything. I don't think you realise what you do mm. for some people. And I think, oh, wow. Like, remember last week I said to you, it's just one person, just one just Even one. if we just have one solid listener out there, we're grateful yeah. for your ears. No, not one solid listener. One person to that we've helped. I'm happy. Oh, definitely. I or feel one person you. every minute, you know. Of every day. We're real. Not all, Evie, not all <laughs> heroes wear capes. So another big thing that happened last week was the 2022 Arias that were held at the Horden Pavilion in Sydney. I was there doing the red carpet for my... You looked my beautiful, by the way. Confidential That story. dress had... Now, I have to talk about the dress. Okay. Um, sure. the, it was so beautiful. It Was it made for you? It was made for me by okay, Daniel I love Walker a couture. A couture moment in uh, Edgecliff slash uh, Double Bay area. He was beautiful. He made okay. that for me in less than a week. What the, yeah, so he should. It was tiny. God, wouldn't have taken me. Like, <laughs> put that together with my singer. Um, now, that, that dress was so beautiful. You know I love me. Um, a shoulder pad like that oh. dress had some serious shoulder shoulder padage. Yeah, and I was tra impressed that shoulder padage is coming out mm-hmm. like it is now. Also, it had gloves in the sleeves. In now, the sleeves. Can you talk to me. Uh, did you have to get in the dress? Yeah. Go through the oh, arms I've got a funny and then story. into the holes? Oh, I've got a Not funny holes. story. So I wanted gloves because I love a glove moment. And also I knew I would be holding a microphone and meeting a lot of people. And my hands, my hyperhidrosis, uh, sweaty. So sweaty. And I didn't want to be rubbing it on my dress the whole day. It's hot mm, up and her too. Good. So mm. I was like, I want a glove moment. It's the Aria, so it's really like your personality. He, we did like two fittings in the week and we did like a, a push-up, you know, uh, heart kind of boob moment. And then he was like, mm. do you like shoulder pads? And I was like, chuck them in. Yeah. We chuck loved. In. So I had to stick my little mitts in and then be zipped yeah. up. So, oh, and then it was all across the back moment too so when I got home it was quite early I'm such a nan yeah but I could not get out of this dress and it was tight and I was sweat and because it was so hard I could hardly type on my phone I couldn't reach over with the gloves to undo I slept I FaceTime the person I'm chatting to at the moment I got her on the phone I'm having a panic attack I'm like I can't she's like get down on the Floor, let me let me direct you. I couldn't do it. I had a full blown panic attack, and she was like, you, "Okay, you need to sh- like breathe." Yeah, I ended and go up- to the cafe in the morning, get someone to undo it for you. Well, lucky she actually flew in the next day, but was gonna I was gonna wait for her to undo it for me. But the thing is, once I'd calmed down and had a good sleep, I had to yeah, wriggle the whole fine. half of my body out of the dress, get the hand out, and then it was still hardcore. I was stuck yeah. in that dress from. Three o'clock that day until I think about ten o'clock the next morning. 
Oh my god, you would have stunk. Oh, it was, and it was so tight. And I woke up in my, in the next day, and I was like, <gasps> Oh, I gotta oh get this god. shit off. But God, it was worth it. It was so yeah, worth it. You did he look probably really good. thought that I had somebody to help me get it off, but I did. Actually, now I think it, I probably yeah. could have unzipped it. Anyway, these things. Well, happen. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, um, a coat hanger. I, there were so many things I could have done, but I was so yeah. tired yeah. and I was you freaking out. And, but what a beautiful, know. beautiful look. Like I was so happy. I wanted kind of like a Bridget Bardot mixed with Jessica Rabbity, Rabbit. Marilyn yeah, Monroe vibes. And I got it. I got exactly what I goddamn well, well wanted. That's wonderful. So the Arias, um, can I just say the Arias, everything I saw about them, all I saw was reality people. Yeah, it was a weird and one. I honestly couldn't tell you what musicians were there on the red carpet because I kept seeing people from maths, people from um, people love to talk about them though, don't they? They love well, to it's pick just, on them. It's a music awards night. There was still when a did lot this there start happening. Oh, I bet there was, but they certainly didn't show anything. No. On the wash, there was not one photo. Yeah, but one the wash photo. is for reality TV. So that makes sense. Right. And, like, so dramatic is all reality TV. If you followed mm. other pages and designers, it was mostly the musicians. But, yes, I saw everybody having a whinge about it all being reality TV people. But that's all the paps love to post about them because they do mm. the most probably ridiculous things. Because so Aussie drummer G Flip was there and they mm. co- co-hosted the Arias um, and walked the red carpet with their partner, Chriselle. You know I love me some G Flip. I got to interview G Flip. I lost all of my mind. I got to say to G Flip, Thank you so much for being the soundtrack to my sex life for the last year and a half with experiencing my newfound queerdom. And they were like, Ange, go off. And I was like, you have made my sex life so much better. They were very happy about that and I'm glad I got to say it. Chriselle looked amazing. She's divine. Um, last year, Arias also removed gender award categories. Well, that's uh, great. Which was amazing and we spoke to G about that and they were very happy about that because now it's just like, you know, doesn't matter if you're a man, lady, don't identify it anybody. It really doesn't. It really can, doesn't. Um, Baker Boy won a lot. He won Album of the Year, which is an Indigenous artist, which was great to see. He won Album of the Year, Best Solo Artist, Best Hip Hop Release, which is huge. Archie Roach, Best Independent Release. Um, obviously, he passed away earlier this year. Uh, the Kid Leroy, he's huge overseas. Yeah, he won Kid Leroy's really good, isn't he? Yeah, he bloody... Um, has killing it abroad. Yeah. The Wiggles, Bless, won Best Children's Album, as they do. So Budra won Best Soul R&B release. Great. Bloody great. Everybody looked fabulous. You know what? Yeah. It was a bit of a cluster fuck. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it always is. It was it like a mini been. festival and everybody just got blind. So I didn't yeah, drink, obviously, does. till after the red carpet. But I got, and I was like, I only had two drinks. How did I get so drunk? But I was pouring my drink so I didn't have to go back up. So I actually had four really quick and I went home. I was like, oh, no, you're tipsy. You're carrying on like a two-bob watch. Saw Casey Donovan fangirled and I was like, yeah, girl, go to bed, She Jessica. loved you. She messaged me. Oh, oh did and she? she's a darling. Oh, That's God, I was carrying on. I, those drinks hit me so fast because I didn't really eat and I was so hot. And I was like, oh, why did I get so drunk off two? No, doll, you had four in like an hour. Go home. Mm. So I went home by like 8.30. Didn't do the after party. Not me. Oh, that's fine. There's nothing. (laughs) Missed half of the awards, but um, loved the red carpet in the first half. And then I was like, no, you're just going to be a pest now. Go home. I remember doing an um, an Arias years ago and I was working for Warner Music at the time and I was the junior in the office Mm. and everyone got to sit at the tables and then they had all the seating, the bleachers around for all the plebs. So <laughs> all the industry was in the middle and all yes, the plebs were around. They did that and I, I was again. Yeah. given I was given a pleb seat, a ticket by myself while my oh. the rest of my um office was sitting together. Anyway, um they uh, Annie Potatoes, one of my best friends, she was on there on that table and she said, Yeah, we can't have Evie up there. <laughs> and she couldn't I couldn't come down. So they took the office credit card and we all went next door to the pub and watched it on the big screen oh. there and got absolutely munted together. <laughs> As you do, why not? It's the best. Like, well that's what, the thing with those awards. Is there? They put so much effort into making it amazing and everybody gets so dressed up but pretty much everybody just wants to go for the red carpet. Then they get yeah. so wasted that they don't really get to enjoy the yeah. awards, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, yeah. 
But also they know they won at the end of the day. Yeah. So, I mean, there you go. That's um that one. Uh, yeah. What's the next? Oh, speaking of Arias, obviously having G Flip as a co-host, they were the first non-binary co-hosts uh, for such an, a big award, uh, which is great. Obviously having Bryony as a host for the challenge is huge because that's also our first non-binary host for host. such, I was yeah. going to say a big show, but sad one, not really a big show now, is it? Yeah, it didn't end up being very big, did it? I was so excited about that Oh, show. we both were. And we um, were just so disappointed. So First disappointed. episode was just extremely disappointing. We were like, oh, this has been badly done. I know. It's such a and shame. It was, didn't have to be like that. No. You didn't I think have to do it like that. I don't know why had, you did it like that. They had so much going for them, like – Obviously having Bryony, I think Bryony's great and having, yeah, first non-binary host and then it being over in Argentina, having an American budget, having all those massive crazy-ass personalities in one space, it could have been such a good show. So, so good. I've heard now it's moved to uh, 8.30 now, only on Mondays. <laughs> they're cancelled Tuesdays and they're doing double episodes back to back. I'm yeah, I'm actually surprised that they haven't popped it on at 11 or cancelled it and gone look at it on streaming if you want to watch it because no one's watching it. Like it, it did so badly the first night, it just rated. And after that, it didn't even get into the ratings anymore. Like there was not enough numbers to even get it in there I would on love the chart. To ask people what, what went wrong. When I posted, is anybody watching it? People were just like, no, I hate it. They didn't really give me reasons. Would well, you know why I didn't like it? You, I think you already know why I didn't like it, but the editing was so dreadful. Like the very first episode, there was all this screaming mm. from like Cyrell, but there was no lead up. There was no context as to why she was screaming and then there was no resolution, which is what you need in reality TV. Yeah. And you need a lot of people talking to the camera and having the, oh, well, now we're not talking or we're sided with this person and this is the reason and blah, 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 blah. And you get everyone's sides. None of that. All of a sudden we just saw so yes. screaming at people and we're like, oh, this is, oh, well, well I don't understand why that was happening. Oh, now it's over. And there's oh. too many challenges. Okay. Yeah, and challenges. Well, it is the challenge, which is fine. But edit it better, I say. <laughs> you know, I think it always with comes my editing down. skills, I know. Yeah, I think it always comes down to editing because you you have so much content, and we know from yeah. being on, well, especially me, three hundred thousand, yeah. as people like to remind me. Yeah. It's only been four, by the way. So I don't know why that's a big thing. Uh, Gogglebox isn't reality TV, so. Grow up. Um, there's so much content and then it just gets, it comes down to like post-producing editing and they can completely create it, make it great, or they can completely butcher it. And in this case, yep. I think they butchered it a little bit. And they I don't like to say that because like you don't know I don't listening. know why. Yeah, I know, but I don't know why. Like they've obviously maybe had no budget by the end. Yeah, I don't know. It all on. I would love to they know how much everyone got paid. Location, but. Yeah, if you're listening and you were on the challenge, tell us how much you got paid. They won't. Dare you. Tell us. Um, yeah, you know, anyway. Anyway. Well, that that actual conversation was about to say how blessed and grateful we are that uh, there's such a space for um, non-binary people hosting and winning awards and being musicians and how much of a, a yeah. great representation that is. And anybody who thinks that's too PC – or the W word, which I don't like to say. Well, yeah. don't don't listen to this podcast. Don't listen, because, darling. Just don't listen. You know. You well, don't I don't have think to. people who listen to our podcasts would be disagreeing with that. But can I say one more thing? Sure. This, as far as the PC world goes, and the world we are living in, we are moving. We are becoming a progressive nation, and mm -hmm. not just nation, world. This weekend, we just had another election in this state. So I'm yes. in Victoria. Uh, we just voted in. Um, the same government that we've had in already who took us through a pandemic and we had the longest lockdowns in the world. Mm -hmm. And that same Premier just got voted in again. And his acceptance speech, um, he said something that was really, really profound to me and why. Because people, especially on the right, they're, they're a very small minority in this state, but they're 
loud, like yes. really loud. And they, I have never seen more sore losers in my life. And I mean, the only, the, the worst losers I've ever seen were the people who, you know, stormed the Capitol for Trump. Like these people, they can't stand losing. But these people were not nearly as bad as that. Dan Andrews said something that says a lot about who he is. He said, it is time for hope and that's what we represent. And mm. that's the one thing that the the opposition and I find that the majority of our country now is a Labor-led states because there, there's just something about the Greens and Labor who are really ready to move forward and do the accepting of people that the right wings just still aren't ready to do. Mm-hmm. They want to be conservative. They want to stay with old values and old gender norms and old traditions. Sorry, f- move on, people, because that's the way the world's going and it's all about in- inclusivity and it's about hope. Mm-hmm. So be on the right side. Time for change. Retweet, girl. Retweet. Oh, thank you. Thank <sighs> you. That was great. That was beautiful. Well, we hoped you uh, enjoyed that chat. We um, certainly did, didn't we? Did you love it? Yeah, I loved it. I feel like you did. I feel I felt the passion in your heart. Thanks from so your much. heart to mine. I felt it. Mm, thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. Oh, so yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. We loved that <laughs> chat. Um, don't forget to uh, I don't know, do all the things, rate us. I don't even know anymore. Rate and review, it. five stars only. Contact us, two girls at novaentertainment.com.au. We love you. You should have the day that you deserve. And if you're being a really cool person, you're gonna have a cool day. Yeah. See how it works. So easy. It's simple. Alright. Bye. We love, you. love you, bye. Bye.